Hello and welcome back to The Cursing Seamstress. Um, I apologize for the reflection on my glasses. It always does it, but I can't see without them. Um, I have a pattern review for you today. Um, I have started looking at and sewing up some indie patterns and I have already shown you one pattern that I've sewn from Colette and that was the rooibos dress which I really liked. The sizing is really good on their patterns from what I can tell. Um, I just finished up another one. Um, this time I sewed the Reggie dress. It's R-E-G-G-I-E -G -G -E. and I will insert here a photo of the Reggie dress from their website. Um, the Reggie dress is a loose fitting wrap dress. The bodice crosses over on the inside. You need to find a way, um, I'm gonna change the way I did it, to attach the inner wrapped piece, um, you know, to hold it up. Uh, and then the other side, and I think I'm doing it backwards because it ties on the outside on my left side on the left side and um, the skirt part is gently gathered um, and it's it really it's a pretty pattern um, it, I think the sizing is pretty good although what I've read is that it runs big um, I think it's meant to run big. Um, I have seen others who made it and they uh, would keep um, honing it down, making it smaller and smaller. But I think that when they did that, it, it did fit tighter, but I don't think the dress is meant to fit tight at all. So um, I didn't do that. I left it, I cut a size 12 and I didn't cut anything smaller. And I think it fits the way it is meant to fit, which is loose. The bodice is loose, the skirt is, um, it, you know, it's not a huge full skirt, but it, it fits um, in line with the width of the bodice. Um, like I said, it's gentle gathers, and I absolutely hate gathering. Um, I did do the gathering on my sewing machine, um, and what I did was I had to remove the IDT, which is uh, like a built-in walking foot on the FAF machine that I have, because the IDT would have smoothed it out. It wouldn't let it uh, gather. So I, I took that uh, off and I just set my tension high and a long stitch and it gathered it really well, uh, which made it a lot easier than running rows of, of stitching and pulling it by hand. Um, I despise doing that. Um, so I'm just thinking of anything. The big issue that I had with this dress had nothing to do with the pattern at all. Um, I was going to make this out of a gingham and what happened was I ended up not having enough fabric. So um, it was, I was supposed to have cut two of the front I didn't realize there were two front pieces, which is stupid because it's a wrap dress. So I had cut one on the fold, and then when I was putting it together, I had the bodice totally done, including the sleeves with the band on the sleeves, which took me quite a while. And then I realized that um, I was supposed to have one more piece, and I think it kind of tricked me because that the both the front pieces are cut on the fold. So I cut one on the fold, and I thought, okay, well, that's done. Um, and then the back, the, there are two back pieces not cut on the fold. And, and then I realized that I did not have enough fabric. And the fabric I was using was years old. I don't know how long I had had it. Um, and so what I did was I went online. I went to Walmart and tried to find it. And I went online and tried to find it. I could find blue gingham check fabric. Um, and they had different sizes, like, um, you know, a half an inch check, an eighth of an inch, fourth of an inch, eighth of an inch, um, and different colors of blue. So I ordered what I thought would match, and it didn't. 
um, and I was very disappointed. Um, I went to Joanne Fabrics um, and tried to find the gingham there, and they really had a, a small supply of, of any gingham fabrics. And I asked a lady and, uh, who worked there, and she said that the ginghams really didn't sell. That was kind of surprising. But um, So anyway, what I did while I was at Joanne Fabrics is I just tried to find a fabric, since I had com totally completed the bodice, that would match with the blue gingham check bodice that I had sewn. I didn't want to throw it away. I'd put a lot of work into it. So um, she was really good, and the clerk walked with me around the store, and we looked for fabrics, even if it was another print fabric, um, something that would go with the, the blue gingham. So um, actually, um, it worked out really well, um, and I'll just show you the fabric that I'm talking about. Um, this is the blue gingham that I was trying to match. It's a very small blue uh, check. Um, and, you know, I don't know if it's even in existence anymore. Um, so, couldn't, couldn't match this, couldn't find anything that would work until I ran across this. And the match is absolutely spot on. It's perfect. Um, it's the same shade of blue, and, uh, and that was the answer to my issue. So uh, I went ahead, and this, actually, this is very lightweight. It feels like it's not really a tinsel, but it's um, kind of feels like it's a tinsel. Um, it's a, maybe a chambray. It's all cotton, um, and it's got good drape. It, there's no stiffness to it at all. Um, so that's exactly what I needed. Now this pattern again, I'll stand up and show you. I'll put it on. I've got clothes on. I'm getting ready to go out in a little bit, but I'm going to put this on and just show you the features of the dress. If you don't like dresses that fit loosely, you're not going to be happy with this dress. Um, I do sometimes. Um, uh, I don't know. I think it's okay. I'm not going to make another one. Not because it's a bad pattern at all. It's a good pattern. Um, but I don't really need another dress like this. Um, although I, I do like it. I like the sleeves. They came out really well. I like the band at the bottom of the sleeves here. I think it's really attractive. Um, there is some gentle uh, gathering in the sleeve here, but it's not you know, a puffy sleeve, which um, I'm not a fan of. There um, is a facing. I, I used white in the very front because I was too lazy to go dig out the scraps of the um, fabric that I should have used. I did use the matching fabric for the back facing. Um, it's got a couple of darts in the back for shaping. And uh, like I said, the gathers are, are very gentle. Um, the tie is actually attached to the bodice. There, there are two ties. Um, and there are darts in the front. Um, they were um, perfect. Uh, I didn't have to make any sort of an adjustment. And uh, all right, well, let me try this on and I'll uh, let you have another look. This would work as a beach cover up too, if, if anybody were interested, but it works as a regular dress. So I'll show it to you a little bit more in detail with me wear it. Okay, so I have it, I have it on, and uh, this is what I did to um, attach the inner part of the wrap skirt and, and bodice. I put a ribbon here, and then I put a loop here um, at the seam. So I'm not going to loop it right now, but I am going to cross it over. And this is the tie here on the left. So that is the, that's the fit right there. It could probably use um, pockets. I'm gonna back this up so you, I think pockets would be cute for it. Um, that's the back. 
And again, I've not attached this, so I think this is probably going to hang down um, past the, where the hem should be. But that's it. It's, it's a cute dress. Um, like I said, I do like it. I like the sleeves. Um, and if you're thinking about trying a collet pattern, um, I would do so. They're, they're cute. They're different. Um, the instructions are good. Um, I don't think you'll have any problem with them. The sizing is wonderful. So, all right. Well, thank you for watching. I will be back very shortly because I have tried another indie pattern company. This time uh, I tried something from the Jaylee, J-A-L-I-E pattern company. And I've made two things, the same thing for two separate people. And I will show that to you coming up next. Thank you for watching.